evening everyone and welcome to Pause for Prayer this Monday evening. We're really glad that you can join with us and Monday nights are just a, a time when we uh, like to take some time to pray for the unfolding COVID-19 uh, pandemic. We normally meet in church to pray for um, all sorts of everything and we do encourage you to, to continue in your normal prayer routine the rest of the week but we just take this time now to focus um, on these strange times and trust that our God um, can do amazing things when we pray. So let's come before him in that spirit of prayer um, and let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you remembering who you are. You are an infinite God. There's no end and no beginning to you. And Lord, that gives us hope because if if you weren't created by anyone, no one brought you into being, then no one can take you out of this world. No one can remove you. No one can do anything to end you. And Lord, we pray that that will give us hope in these times that you are an infinite and an unchanging God. We thank you that your word tells us that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. Even in changing times, we trust in you as an unchanging God. Lord, your word also tells us that you are a mighty and powerful God. Just as we thought about you not being created by anything else, we know that you are the creator God. By your power, you spoke the world into creation. And by your power, you defeated death on the cross. By your power, you parted the Red Sea. By your power, you can do amazing things. And so, Lord, we pray that we will be mindful of your power, that we will trust in your power, that we will be overawed by your power, and that we will know that you are powerful to change any circumstance. Heavenly Father, we also know that you are an all-knowing God. You are wise. You know everything that goes on in our lives. You see everything. Just last night with Youth Fellowship, we were thinking about how you see the whole world and yet you also see everything going on in our individual lives. You care about us, you love us and you want to be involved in our lives. And so Lord we pray for that wisdom that you have, your perfect wisdom that you will help us to know that you are a perfect and wise God who is in control of everything and knows what is best for us all. And Lord, we pray that we will also know your loving and compassionate side as we find ourselves in really strange and unnerving and unsettling times. Help us to focus on you, knowing your love for us and in our lives. As we continue to pray, I'm going to work through a, a sort of little mnemonic that I was taught when I was younger. Um, and the point of these videos, I suppose, is to help us pray together. And I don't know whether you're like me or not, but sometimes I can struggle to structure my prayers or to, to really know what to say. And that's okay. And the Bible tells us that even when we don't know how to pray, that the Holy Spirit um, will help prompt us and that Jesus is praying for us. And so I'm going to use the stop um, sort of mnemonic. So S is for sorry, T is for thanks, O is for others. And P is for please. So I'll just work through that. And feel free um, to join in as well with things that you are sorry for, thankful for, other things that you want to pray for. And finally, things that you're asking from God. So let us continue to pray now. Heavenly Father, we are sorry. Sorry for all of the wrong things that we've done. And Lord, we could probably fill a video fill a day with, with those things. But we pray especially to say sorry for not trusting in you, that sometimes in the midst of chaos or change, we forget that you are that almighty and powerful God that we've just been thinking about, that we sometimes trust ourselves more than we trust you. And so, Lord, help us to trust in you. Help us to put our faith in you. And we're sorry for the times when we don't do that. 
Lord, in this time of great need of others, we're sorry for the times when we have thought selfishly or acted in a greedy manner. Um, whether that has been buying more than we need at the shops or seeing needs of others and, and not doing what we could to help. Or maybe we're being greedy with our time. Maybe we are not serving others as, as much as we could be and, and using this situation as an excuse. Lord, we are sorry for our greed and selfishness. Lord, we're sorry that at times we maybe don't share you as much as we could. We're sorry that you maybe aren't at the centre of our lives. We get so consumed with what's going on, even in normal, busy, everyday life. We were guilty of that, but sometimes when things like this come, we can be so consumed by the worry or the fear that we forget to put you at the centre. And Lord, we are sorry for that. And we pray that you will put that right in our lives. And Lord, we come tonight to say thank you as well. Thank you for all of the gifts that you give us. We thank you for the gift of technology that enables us to um, meet virtually together to pray like tonight, to be taught by our minister, to um, be together in worship, to hear songs sung um, that are so familiar to us with voices that are familiar to us. We thank you that we can keep in touch with friends and with family, whether that's fun quizzes or serious meetings. We thank you for the technology that has enabled us to keep in touch through these times. And Lord, as we think about the COVID-19 outbreak, we thank you that across the world, um, numbers seem to be decreasing. We thank you for good news coming out of other countries where lockdown is being um, reduced. And we thank you even for um, our country here that across the UK and in Northern Ireland, numbers are decreasing. Lord, help us not to lose focus on the fact that each death is serious and is heart-wrenching for the families involved but do help us to be thankful that those numbers are decreasing and Lord we thank you for that Lord we thank you for the initial steps of the relaxing of lockdown that are happening here we thank you that and um, people are maybe able to get out and about a bit more or um, able to go to a few other places help us not to become complacent though Help us not to relax too much and to get um, too comfortable with being out and about and mixing with too many people. But Lord, we thank you that we can see some light at the end of the tunnel. We can see some hope ahead. And Lord, we thank you for those people for whom life hasn't changed a great deal. They're still out and about working. We thank you for our key workers. We thank you that they're keeping things going. That even though some of us have been staying at home and staying safe, they've been putting themselves out in, in harm's way. And we thank you that they're willing to serve us in that way. And we thank you for them. Lord, forgive us if we have maybe taken them for granted in the past. And help us, when all of this is over, not to go back to our selfish ways of forgetting about them. But to give them the thanks and the honour and the um, place of esteem that they deserve. And Lord, as we think about key workers, we want to pray for them too. Give them the strength to keep going. It's been a long time um, since this started and as they've been working hard non-stop, they may be getting weary. So Lord, send your Holy Spirit to strengthen them. Lord, we also pray for their safety while they're out and about and working on the front line. We pray that you will keep them safe and protect them, Lord. And Lord, not only with your um, spiritual might, but also with the practical steps that maybe we can help with or that others have been helping with. We pray that there will be enough PPE for those on the front line, for all of the NHS and care staff, but also for those who are in the areas that we maybe sometimes forget when we mention key workers. Lord, we thank you for delivery drivers and those who are keeping the food growing and delivering it to the shops so that we can go and buy it. Lord, we thank you for those who work in the shops, 
who are coming into contact with maybe hundreds of people a day, but they're willing to do that so that we can um, have some semblance of normality. Lord, I pray for our teachers, for those who have been continuing to work to serve the children of the key workers. We thank you for that. We thank you for those who have been working from home and sending out resources so that children can continue to learn. Lord, we pray that as the authorities start to think about um, starting school back up, that you will give um, wisdom and discernment to the political leaders, but also to the teaching staff and the, the people who will make decisions in individual schools. Help them to know what is best for the pupils. Heavenly Father, we pray for our government. We pray for our government both here in Northern Ireland and in Westminster. Lord, we pray that their motivation will be true to the, the best intentions, the, what is best for the people of this land, that there will be no other motivation. Lord, we pray that you will guide them, give them your wisdom. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are struggling at this time, whether that's because they are on furlough or they've been made redundant or situations have changed that has led their finances to be greatly reduced. We pray um, that they will get the help that is needed. They will seek help from organisations that are there to help. And Lord, we pray for those who, even in normal times, may have felt lonely, but now so uh, even more. Lord, we pray that you will draw alongside them, that you will put people around them to check in on them so that their loneliness isn't even more acute. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are missing their families, who are unable to see families, maybe through distance so they can't pop around and socially distance in gardens or whatever, or maybe because family members are shielding and have to to stay away and not take any chances. Lord, we pray for those for whom this present situation has made their struggles with their mental health even worse. Lord, we know that um, mental health has been a real crisis here um, of late, and this has just made it worse. And so, Lord, we pray that you will draw alongside those who are struggling. And again, as we have prayed, and for those who are suffering from loneliness, we also pray that you will help us to know how we could help um, those who are struggling with their mental health. And Heavenly Father, as we also thought about people who might need to take advantage of charities and other organisations, we pray for those charities and organisations. We pray for charities like the Food Bank, who are providing such a vital service to those who are most vulnerable at this time. Or charities such as the Samaritans, who are continuing to work um, in the midst of this. We pray um, that you will be with them, that you will help them to continue to work um, and give them the resources that they need. And Lord, as we come towards the end of our prayer time, we come now to pray for ourselves. We pray that you will continue to reduce the numbers. We pray that you will find a vaccine to protect us in the future. Heavenly Father, be with us and draw alongside us. Draw us nearer to you and to each other. Help us to be patient with each other. Help us to be patient with those we live with. And Lord, we pray for our church family, just as we are now scattered and, and we don't have that fellowship and support network around each other. We pray that you will strengthen us and encourage us even as we are separated. Heavenly Father, we pray for our minister. We pray that you will be with him um, as he continues to minister to our church in a very strange set of circumstances. Heavenly Father, I want to pray for everyone who is listening to this video. I pray that you will bring peace upon them, help them to know that you are the sovereign God we prayed about at the start that you can bring us peace through your Holy Spirit, a peace that passes all understanding. Heavenly Father, please be with us. Send your Spirit to work in our lives. Send your Spirit to prompt us when something needs to be done or said. 
Heavenly Father, just as we thought about at the start, you are holy, you are good, you are great. You are everywhere and you care. And so Lord, help us to cling to those, to remember that as we go through it this week, as we face whatever challenges come this week. We pray that you'll be with us and sustain us. We pray all this in your son's precious and holy name. Amen.